Thank you for clicking play on the video. I'd like to ask you to click the thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell so that you can get alerted every time we bring out great content. Thanks. Hey YouTube comment community, this is Jimmy the Geek Aficionado and I am back with a, another haul from Half Price Books. Now, I really like digging in this place because you never know what you're going to find. But what you can count on finding most of the time is, uh, is low-priced filler. Um, and one of those fillers, uh, for me, is the uh, Volume 1 Batgirl Run. Uh, this this handful of books that I got here, uh, starting with issue number 49, has gotten me within, I think, five or six books of finishing my run. So I'm super happy about that. Um, I, I dig some of these covers, and like some of the stuff I haven't really seen other than just in the CLZ app, but like that's a great one. Uh, the trophy cases. This is a great um, picture of a uh, cover of, of her and uh, Poison Ivy, um, you know, just a different style, but really, really nice. And this is a cool one with uh, the new Robin, Stephanie Brown, uh, and then Batgirl uh, in the shadow of the penguin. Cool, cool stuff. Found these books that got me within, um, I want to say, one issue of finishing off my New 52 Batman run. Uh, if you've seen some of my other videos that I, I've mentioned before, I, I, I picked up the whole Batman run uh, when it came out. And when it came to an end, I sold the whole thing off for 500 bucks, all right, for all 52 issues. And uh, I've been able to replace it for, I'd say, less than $100. Yeah, way less than $100 for the same 52 issues. So, you know, it's all about the timing. Uh, this is uh, one of the issues from Zero Year... Uh, issue number 24, issue number 26 here. Uh, so yeah, so those are the last two that I need. I got one more, which I cannot remember which, which issue it is. Uh, but when I come across it, I'll pick it up and, uh, and it'll be done. So I don't like spending more than like, you know, a buck, buck 50 on them. Uh, here's something else I'll spend a buck 50 on. Young Justice, issue number 45. Uh, there's some really good stuff in the, in the Young Justice uh, run. And, you know, it's been the kind of the, the, the template for some of the other uh, young superhero work. So it, as I get them, you know, as I can get them, I, I pick them up. All right. Now, here's where we kind of get the meat and potatoes. I am trying to, to do my early Superman or my, uh, I should say, finish off my Superman series. Is, right. And there's a number of them. All right, there's Action Comics, there's uh, Adventures of Superman, there's Superman Volume 1, Volume 2, there's Man of Steel, there's Man of Tomorrow, you know, th there's just, there's a lot of Superman um, out there. And if I can find 80s books for a buck or less, I'll, I'll get them. Uh, and that's, that's what we came up with here, so uh, we'll go through them. Action Comics number 569. Uh, we got the Green Lanterns added into this one. This is uh, five eighty nine, and a little bit later, seven forty nine. Nice Candor back shot there. We've got seven fifty two. I have no idea who these people are. I guess I'll have to read it. 757 with Hawkman from Krypton to Thanagar. And 766. Um, I know that. I think that's Ed Benes. No, no, Joe Kelly. That's what it is. So, a Joe Kelly artwork. Or no, Joe, Joe Kelly might be the, the writer. I can't remember. Anyhow, cool cover with the... Superman all green kryptonite radiated, irradiated. Um, so there was a mini-series, a uh, 12-issue mini-series called The Man of Tomorrow. This is issue 10 and 11. And then this one came out with the whole rest of the, like, the one millions. 
uh, with Superman tomorrow with a, with a Gene Ha cover. You know that because he does Ha and Adam Hughes does Ah. It's funny. All right. Superman Volume 2. This is issue number 139 uh, with a Jim Starlin art job on that. Man of Steel, number 24. John Irons vs. The Last Son of Krypton. Title bout, number two. And I think these were happening, yeah, this is during the reign of the Superman. So this is uh, during the uh, return of Superman, or the death and return of Superman. When they had, he had other Superman filling in for him. All right, we got some Adventures of Superman, 488. And 542 and 561. And we got some, oop, sorry about that. And some, some more from that run. 562, 563. And here's issue 567. With, uh, I'm guessing that's a robot. I don't think that's Cyborg Superman, but some kind of robot Superman. That might be Lois there. Some more Adventures of Superman. We've got 569. And 570. Now he's from Krypton to Ran. So this is part two of four. So maybe that Thanagar one and this one are tied. Seems like it. Always something going on between Rand and Thanagar. And 576. Uh, this is. Is this when he becomes blue or is this a flashback? Who knows? But uh, yeah, that Superman blue and red was hot garbage. And this is the last one. This is issue number 591 The Alien Swarm. So there's a lot of really interesting, you know, Superman storylines. And uh, I think it's one of those ones where he doesn't have a very cut and dry set of uh, of villains, you know, like like Batman or, you know, a rogues gallery like The Flash. So every time, you know, every issue is something different and something interesting and intriguing. So I, I appreciate that they do that. Now, this last group of books is something I found when I found them and they were almost all in high grade uh, but I only bought the ones that were in high grade so I wound up leaving behind uh, two books so I'm too short on this but I saw it and I, I dug it and I couldn't I couldn't not bring them home right um, just because for me they're nostalgic because uh, I had them before and I had actually I had the white ones um, so I don't think I actually have this uh, this one and I want to say this is the original. Maybe it's volume two. I, I don't recall. And I'll, I'll put it in the notes. But this is the official handbook of the Marvel Universe. And this is issue number two. Where we've got B and C. Issue number three. C and D. Issue number four. D through G. Alright. And there's like. It's just. It's got some cool stuff. Right. Like it's. Like, they add a lot of different uh, character drawings. Like, this looks like the Frank Miller Electra, right? I'm relatively certain it's taken from it. And they're wraparound covers as well. So maybe I'll get one of those those clear backing boards just to have them so I can look at them. Because, I mean, that's what those are really for is, you know, when you really want to highlight the what's on the back cover. Uh, H through J from Hangman to Juggernaut. Uh, you got Icarus here from, uh, from the Eternals. Uh, K through M. Madam Mask and M, right? Because M just keeps on going. It's from Mandarin to Mystique, so it's issue number seven. And this is where our second break is. I don't have issue number eight. It was a little chewed up, uh, so I didn't want to pick it up, even though it was like a buck fifty or something like that. You got Q through S, which gives you uh, Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. So that's fortuitous, right? There they are on the cover. I mean, who didn't love seeing uh, 
that uh, that Quicksilver outfit uh, in the WandaVision show. That was funny to me. That hair. Issue number 10 from Shi'ar to Submariner. Issue 11. All right. Tell me these aren't awesome. And then here we finish it up with issue number 12, Valkyrie to Zax. So these are all like great books, just super cool ones to have. Uh, but that's not the end of the run. That's the end of the alphabet. And that one of the cool things about this is that they added these on the back end. These were all, you know, like they, they added some special stuff. So issue number 13, Book of the Dead and Inactive. Uh, and you've got, you know, Air, Air Walker to Manwolf. Um, so there's, uh, there's Manwolf, you know, the space Manwolf there. you got Mantis, um, Captain Marvel, who's actually dead. But the rest of these, you know, may have just been inactive. I think the ones that have their hands over their, their chest are the ones that are actually dead. So pretty cool. Like, yeah, it's a uh, Baron. Uh, oh, my God. What is his name? I'll put it in the notes. He's the guy from Hydra. Uh, issue number 14 is uh, the second part of the Book of the Dead in Inactive. And this one's got Phoenix on it and and, uh, and Adam, Adam Warlock and Thanos and Thunderbird, right? This is just people that aren't, like, really out there, you know, or they're, uh, you know, the series got canceled or they got killed off. And then the final issue is the Book of Weapons, Hardware, and Paraphernalia. So it's things like Cap Shield... Stiltman's legs, uh, Moon Knight's little crescent, you know, things he throws, the ants from Ant-Man, um, you know, Wolverine's adamantium skeleton. Like that's, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to bust that open because that's, that's cool to look at. These up as a backdrop. So just to kind of show how cool these are, I'll bust that out so you can see some of the stuff. Yeah, here we go. So in, in straight 80s fashion, right? Like, that's pretty cool, right? You got Wolverine's skeleton. And it shows it shows the bionic housings, how his, his claws retract, right? And uh, the skeleton, how the skeleton's been completely covered in adamantium. It even has a nice picture uh, of uh, Frank Miller's Wolverine cover. So things like that that are just really cool uh, that they put in here. Let's let's find something else. Oh yeah, here we go. You got the uh, the Iron Man armor and uh, Hobgoblin's bat glider. And the briefcase. You got uh, Iron Man's briefcase um, armor. Right. So, like I said, just super cool. I mean, it's great that they like you know they went and thought this stuff out and like wrote it down. I mean, schematics like design schematics. So, very cool stuff. Uh, happy to get those. I got I to gotta find issue one and eight in, in high grade. Uh, maybe I'll find it at somebody's auction or something like that, or maybe they'll just finally have it. And the last bit that I have here is uh, some more great Adam Hughes goodness. And these are not, these are also like not ones that you come across very often. I think the print run was pretty low because they didn't have a lot of popularity. Uh, but then, like, every time I find them, they're usually pretty chewed up. But I found a couple of super nice copies. This is Legionnaires number 14 with uh, a great Adam Hughes cover. Um, but none better than Legionnaires number 7 with uh, Triplicate Girl and uh, some fish guy finding a fish girl. But I, I just like the work that he did on Triplicate Girl because, you know, just, just three completely different looks. Uh, on the same girl. Just really cool stuff. Love Adam Hughes. Love great work. Like his name here is in the, in the bubble when he's using the ah. Uh. So that's my haul. Check out your half price books in your area. Find good stuff. If you don't go to half price books, you can check out Second and Charles. They usually have some good things too. Thanks for watching. Thanks for clicking play. And we'll catch you next time.